the other hadiths, authentic Sahih hadiths, that confirm the Mahdi will rule by the Sunnah of the Prophet. His method will be the method of the Prophet. His method will be the method of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. He will continue that same legacy. Do we see the Prophet enforcing anyone to convert? No. The Holy Quran is very clear that there's no compulsion in faith. There were, there were Jews in Medina. The Prophet made a treaty with them. He actually signed a constitution with them. I respect you, you respect me. Don't harass us, we won't harass you. And those minorities lived peacefully with the Prophet initially until they broke the treaty. So we see the Prophet never forced any Christian or Jew to convert to the religion of Islam. Narration suggests that Islam will prevail above all under the Mahdi's reign, where the religion of Islam will become dominant. Does this mean the Mahdi will force people to convert? Will people be threatened with death if they choose not to accept Islam? كل قيم القرآن سيطبقها الإمام الحج عجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف. فإذا كان في الآية القرآن يقول لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي خلص الإمام الحج سيقول يطبق هذه الآية لا إكراه في الدين لا إكراه في الدين ما سلمت. الدليل أن أنه ما حيبيد هو عنده القدرة. وقبل ذلك قبل الإمام الحج الله سبحانه وتعالى عنده قدرة. يعني يجبر الناس حتى يكونوا مؤمنين بس الله ما جبرهم ولن يجبرهم حتى يؤمنوا بأنفسهم طوعا ثم يوم القيامة حاسبهم The Imam عليه السلام when he reappears he will show the truth in such a clear way such that the majority of the world's population will naturally be attracted to his message See so the reason why many people do not follow the truth is because they have not seen the clarity of the truth. Once something becomes very clear and visible for you, you accept it. Today, do you find anyone, you know, using old methods of lighting, using an oil lamp or a candle to light their house? No, we use electricity. Well, why? Is anyone forced to use electricity? Not really, you're not physically forced. But when you see electricity and the benefits of it and you compare it to a candle, no sane person will you know, resort to these old methods when you have more advanced methods, right? Same concept applies to the Imam. When people see the beauty of his message, when he calls to the oneness of God, to the beautiful teachings of the Quran, to that global, unified, just government, people will naturally follow him. So it seems that the Imam السلام, will not need to force anyone to convert or to join him. Upon seeing his beautiful message, people will naturally join. Yes, those who will stand in the way of the Imam, who will take arms up against the Imam to fight him, the Imam السلام, will confront them. But as for him invading villages and, and forcing them to convert and join him, uh, this is not something that we accept. There will be some religious minorities. There will be some Jews and Christians who choose to stay as Jews and Christians. The Imam السلام, will make a treaty with them that they will observe the rights of others and their rights will be observed. The Hadith specifically states the Imam will rule the Christians according to the Bible. And he will rule the Jews at the time who will stay uh, uh, Jews. And they will be, of course, a minority because more, most people will convert willingly. He will deal with the Jews according to their Bible. He will rule them according to their Torah, uh, to their Old Testament.